All right. Welcome in, everybody. I'm Fair Luna, and I play games on the internet. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Today, we're playing Grim Fandango. Not sure what we're doing here, but... We're in a forest of trees. Manny, this is a low riding street rod, not a four by four. We don't have the clearance for that kind of road. What about this kind of road? Huh. What is that? Holy money. What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> I love him. What is this? Switches up. What is this? I will check out that wheelbarrow. That would make a decent go-kart. What are they doing to that tree? Oh, city boy! You work all day in a 60-story skyscraper, but didn't you ever wonder what it was made of? Yes. The barrel of these trees, man. They suck it out. It's like cement. Is that why the town's called El Maro? Huh? Never thought of that. It probably is. Maybe so. <laughs> oh, oh, Gladys. He took a minute to get there. This place gives me the creeps. I'm ready to go when you are. This place does give me the creeps, but I'm sure that we have to do something here. So let's learn. <laughs> do 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 do. Ooh, careful, Manny! With the harmonic balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high-lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon! Hold on, I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake it down for sure. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. The switch is down. Hey, Benny, what are you doing? Will this work? Will it work? Outside of the entertainment value, that didn't do what I had hoped. Okay, but it's funny. Huh. That was a dirty trick, Manny. Oh, it was an accident. I bumped the switch with my elbow. Oh, okay. Okay. But Gladys should be heavy enough to knock it over. out of the way. Wait, hold up. Hmm. 
Can I get both of the ones on the right? business. Wait a minute, maybe I'm just trying to change the order they move in. Oh. Oh, I had it, I saw it. Okay, it's twirling. Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Yeah, get him, Gladys. It's shaking. Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera. Okay. I promise nothing. Oh, I did it! Whatever it was. Nanny, until now we scraped along the ground like rats, but from now on we saw. I love eagles. him. <laughs> like eagles on pogo sticks. I love him, Gladys. You beautiful boy. Enough. Get in, or are you afraid of heights? <laughs> hey, we can drive over the drivey part. <laughs> well, where am I now? What can I say? What is it? What are you doing? Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny. They'll make you into a dam. Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny, they don't use wood. <gasps> okay. That animal has uh, too many eyes. Okay, what have I got in my pocket that might deal with a demon beaver? I wonder if 
this thing is rated for rodents. Let's try that again. That's not on fire. Look out! That's not on fire. Oh. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. My scythe. I like to keep oh, it yeah, next right. to there where my go. heart used to be. <laughs> do work. That road leads out of the forest, I'm sure. Plus, plus, how could I leave without Gladys? Okay. So we did extinguish them, but. this gate and drive right over those little monsters. No way, Manny. Oh, those flaming bone beavers are mean. They bite, they claw, and if one of them wrapped around my drive shaft, I'd be picking flaming hunks of fur out of my U-joint for months. I'm not going down there until you get rid of them. Okay. Wait. Wait a minute, let's... That doesn't look nailed down! Unless, maybe it's pointing the way out. Maybe it's pointing the way out, I would like that. This signpost seems to be pointing the way to Rubakaba. Can I take it with me? mine now. I don't really want to do that. Not right now. Can I get on with it? I don't really want to do that. Super duper tell where that's pointing. I guess I'll go back and get Gladys. I don't super see where that's pointing. Very difficult. I think it's pointing to this one. Okay. 
No, I wanted the sign. Going that away. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. Not right now. There's no way to treat the bone wagon. Where are you pointing? I'm going through this one because I feel like that's the way to go, but it also felt like maybe it was pointing at this one over here. Whatever, let's go this way. Not here. was not helpful. Do I have to do this every time? Am I supposed to figure these things out? Back to the same clearing. Is this a matter of them reusing assets really well? Am I actually in a different clearing with a sign in it? This one. Definitely this one. Guess I'm gonna try my best. I hate getting on and off. Like, I wish there was some other indicator, you know, besides me pointing that sign. We'll get to Rubicava yet, though. Well, I guess this was old point-and-click logic, right? So... Where are you pointing to? I guess there. Am I following this right? I don't know if I'm following this right. Sometimes I just don't know.
I believe in myself. I do. Every time, though. Are you sure you're pointing the way to Rubicava? Straight line wise, that is that away. I think. Do I have to take the car every time, or do I just, like, take the sign? I feel like maybe I don't need the car for this. I feel like even that's too much even for this. I'm putting the car away for a second. Where are you going? Are we playing hot or colder with this thing? Guys, we've been playing hot or colder with this thing the whole time. I didn't realize. mine now. Oh, he just shook it down. Okay. Can't pass up an old creepy key. That's understandable. I also can't pass up an old creepy key. Anything this way? Oh, it's that door. Got a weird key. Okay. Hmm. 
Hey, Gladys. On we get. How's a key gonna solve beavers, though? Looks like the gates of hell are already kinda open. Well, whatever. Yep. Up we go. Vroom, 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 vroom. I love Gladys. He's so cute. Monsters on the other side. I'm happy with this thing locked. What is that? Why can I use that? Why can I use it again? Infinite bones. What am I doing down here? Oh, it is infinite bones! Move them dead bones, bones, bones. <laughs> Maybe... well, whatever. I see what's happening here. I'm waiting for him. Can I extinguish them on their way down? Oh. I was trying to figure out a way to extinguish them, see? I guess it's just spraying wantonly. Okay. Have I mentioned again that I don't like timing puzzles in games like these? <laughs> oh, there's another. Well, back to bone paradise, I guess. There's so much fire extinguishing in that fire extinguisher. Oh, let's get out of here. There's still a demon beaver.
Will he jump anyway? Does he care? Well, he did. Are we out of demon beavers? I don't see another one lined up over there. Okay, dam's clear. Can I open it? This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Ah, Manny, I don't know if my wife can drive an oath of people. They can't feel it, they're dead. What dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, man. Aw, they're friends. Cute. I'd be friends with Gladys. Have you seen him? He's precious. Look at him. have fun. What's in here? Why are you mopping a carpet, my man? Oh no, that's mosaic. That's mosaic tile. Never mind, I rescind my earlier commentary. I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be dollar? I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name. And you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone. So I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Oh. Who are you looking for? Who are you looking for? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she, too, was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacaba, so I came here to wait for her. You must love her very much, also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. Oh, that would do. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. That's so sweet. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about the job. Young man, there's no need to feel down. I said. <laughs> Skills. So, well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. Oh. Well, I better go see how my other clients are doing. If you say so, Manny. We only have one mop. Oh, <laughs> there's an achievement for that. That's we only have one mop. I love it. What's this way? Anything? Manny? Ooh. Hello? Yeah, tourists. Guys, I tripped. Thank you, salty sea captain. You watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicami, the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, Why do you have... Looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. Why 
do you have an eye patch, sir? You don't have any eyes. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing or turbos? I don't understand any of what any of that means. Just it's it's car stuff. It's definitely car stuff. There was this one high pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> hey, Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the phone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. He can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? <laughs> Wanna stay in Rubacava for a spell? Is so worry. We'll take care of your car, buddy. I know there's a plot to this game, but the important thing is, have you seen Gladys? Have you seen how precious he is? He's adorable. Are you looking for a woman named Mercedes uh, Not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks for a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to know. I just ask, what is under the eye patch? An eye. No, it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny, we were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Oh. Oh, all right, we'll let them talk for a while longer because that is it for this week, everybody. I will see you all next week for more Grim Fandango. Or you can come visit me uh, tomorrow when I'll be playing Celeste. Or you can come visit me tonight when I'll be streaming. However you come visit me, don't forget to stop by and say hi. Uh, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share so that you can see more of this and so that other people can see it too. And I will see you all later. Thanks for playing along with me, everybody! <laughs>